when I be feeling this hate Cause I'm alone and nobody else knows it I pour a glass of whiskey What's going on guys? In today's video we're going to be going over the games that got me top 3 in the world with the best goblin drill deck in Clash Royale. Alright, so hopping in the first match here, we're going to be up against Agony King. So this guy pretty much always runs Sparky, so it should be an interesting matchup here. We don't have Rocket in our deck like we normally do. Um, this deck used to run Rocket like a while back, but recently people have started to switch to Fireball and I feel like it is very strong in this meta to have like Fireball against all the magic archers and all the different fireball bait units so he kind of starting handed us here with the sparky first play that's pretty much what sparky players always do so just going to set up this early inferno right here looks like he's even going to go with the giant in front of the sparky so should be pretty easy to defend here and didn't really have the drill to pressure him earlier but since we defended his sparky pretty successful i'm just going to pressure with it right here and um looks like he's going to defend that goblin drill pretty nicely with his mini pekka but bomber going to get like a crazy amount of damage right there so yeah, really nice right here, and this deck actually doesn't have wall breakers or anything like that for additional pressure, but it's really nice to pressure with, like, the bandits, and you do also have the bomber, which you can always support your goblin drills with and get, like, a ton of splash damage, and he's gonna actually activate his king tower there against our bandit, but it is still pretty good for us, because we got a dash and a hit on his tower, so still looking really good here. Just gonna pressure with the fire spirit. I think the sparky won't be able to shoot it in time, so should splash the sparky and tower if he doesn't respond to it. So, yeah, I already did, like, a fireball of damage just like that, and against this Sparky push, so I'm all just going to set up an early Inferno. We don't really have, like, the the best plays to do, really, besides setting up an early Inferno, and luckily our Inferno tower actually targeted his Sparky for a bit right there, so going to make his Sparky pretty weak at this point. I think the Fire Spirit should almost finish it off right there, not quite, but um, it's going to be a little bit sketchy right here. I think maybe we can, like, pull his Mini P.E.K.K.A. back with the High Bomber, and... Yeah, honestly, super good defense right there. Wasn't too sure we'd actually be able to survive, but really well-placed cards there. And Inferno Tower also always does a pretty good job against Giant, even when they do have Zap as well in their deck. And he is already going to go with, like, a early Sparky in the back. I don't even think he has 10 Elixir, though, because he probably just set it up so he couldn't go with, like, a Drill or anything like that. But I'm just going to go with a Fireball in it right here. Two Fireballs plus a Log does kill a Sparky, so if we can cycle back to another Log and a fireball i think we should be fine right here but i'm not even sure if we're going to need the fireball because it looks like the fire spirit will actually splash the sparky and also the bomber so i think a bandit hit should finish off this sparky and it's also going to kind of pull back the mini pekka so we should be fine right here he is going to go with the sparky in the opposite lane this time but that's just going to allow us to get like a nice goblin drill off on his town we kind of misplaced the drill by just like a tile right there but not really going to be the end of the world i think we can just go with the fireball here on his e -wiz and I uh, have to be a little bit careful of his mini P.E.K.K.A. right here. Just going to kind of bring it to the center so it locks onto the Inferno Tower instead of walking straight towards our tower. And I think a Bomber should splash most of it down right there. Mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to kind of just wander around. And yeah, I think our Goblin Drill is still going to need to be responded to right here because the two Goblins will still come out. Um, and yeah, it looks like he doesn't respond to it. So that will be a good game. All right, hopping in the next match here, we're going to be up against this guy. So unlike the first match, I don't really have any clue what this guy is playing. Um... Looks like he does have Bandit right here, so probably going to be some type of bridge spam deck. Could also be like P.E.K.K.A. or something like that. And and by the way, guys, like the best starting play with this deck is actually just going with like a Goblin Drill right on their tower as your first play. It's always a pretty good play. Um, sometimes they can get a bit of a counter push from it, but you can always usually defend with like your Inferno Tower and cheap cards. So it actually is pretty good to be quite aggressive with these Goblin Drill decks. That's kind of just how they're played, even though some people do kind of think it's a little bit of a no skill play style, just how it works. So, yeah, Inferno Tower going to do a super good job against his P.E.K.K.A. right there. Not really sure why he went with the P.E.K.K.A. at the bridge. I guess he wasn't really expecting our Inferno Tower to, like, stay alive for that long. But, yeah, going to be pretty fine for us. He's going to go with the Bandit there in front of the Magic Archer. But he's going to give us a pretty nice Fireball there. And the Skeletons are going to kind of finish off the Bandit. So, with this deck, you always have to, like, keep up a really, really good pressure. So, we're always, like, spamming our cards at the river. And also, Bandit's pretty nice in this deck to kind of, like, dash on stuff. Even though, um... It's not quite as good on defense as like a Valkyrie or something like that, but I feel like it still defends pretty well and also just like the offensive pressure is really what makes the difference with Bandit. So I'm just going to go with the Goblin Drill here. Also going to follow up with a Bomber just in case it goes with like a Ghost or something. Should be able to splash the tower here unless he spends something else. Looks like he will go with the e -Wiz right there and he defended pretty fine right there, but he did have to spend quite a bit of Elixir, so not really too bad for us right here. And with Goblin Drill, you kind of just want to attack with, like, Goblin Drills plus Bombers and Single Elixir, but sometimes in Double Elixir, you can go with, like, Drills plus Fireball or something like that if they 
keep on defending well every time. So we do have quite a few options for ways to get damage. And I think Inferno Tower should be able to soak up this bandit and also take care of most of the battle ram. But I think I'm just going to spend a bomber right here. And also the bomber should kind of walk towards the other lane and hopefully counter push a little bit. So I think we can just go with the goblin drill right here. And also going to go with the drill in the back this time, just in case the prediction ghosts. And you just kind of get the prediction ghost right there, but... Um, not really gonna do too much for us right here with our goblin drill, but I think he did get one stab on his tower, so still looking pretty fine right here. And I'm just gonna go with another drill now because he just spent his ghost, so I don't think he has it back in cycling. I think we should be fine. Um, looks like he will go with the P.E.K.K.A. right there, but still the goblins will do quite a bit of damage to his P.E.K.K.A. And Bomber is staying alive for quite a while here. And yeah, just gonna set up an early inferno. It is also really nice to have fireball in this matchup because his magic archers won't really be able to get too much value against us because of our nice fireballs here so we're not really able to get too much damage but neither is he so we're in a pretty good spot regardless and we're all going to kind of push off the ghost a little bit but he's still going to defend our drill pretty perfectly right there unfortunately so he's getting some really good ghosts on us and not really allowing us to get too much damage but since he does go with the P.E.K.K.A. in the back you're just going to pressure with a bandit plus goblin drill he's probably going to have to spend like a yeah like an e-wiz or something on it so I think it should be fine for us right here. He's going to kind of get a pretty decent trade from that, but he is, he is also going to be down um, a little bit of elixir from like, or not like down an elixir, but like he's not going to be able to spend as much elixir on his actual big push. So he's going to be like down an elixir to use on that actual big push. So I think we should be okay right here. Skeletons are going to kind of come down on the P.E.K.K.A. at the very last second, and he doesn't have Zap in cycle, so I think we should be fine here. Bomber is also going to kind of finish off that bandit with a pretty nice fire spirit right there. He is kind of catching up a little bit just from that magic archer chip damage, but still in a pretty fine spot right here. Just going to go with the drill, and I might also fireball depending on what he uses. Um, and yeah, it looks like he does use a P.E.K.K.A. right there, but one goblin will actually latch onto the tower there, so pretty good either way. And it could be a little bit hard to defend his magic archers now that we wasted our fireball, but I think we could be okay right here. Maybe we can cycle back to another fireball pretty quickly, but yeah, I'm not even sure if we're going to need it right here. Just going to kind of focus on this... P.E.K.K.A. plus Bandit push right here. I might just like ignore most of this magic archer and, and I just make sure we defend this right side well. And yeah, I'm going to pull back everything with the Fire Spirit and super clean defense here. Just going to go with the Goblin Drill and also a Fireball in case he goes like a E-Wiz or something, but it is also going to hit his Bandit right there. And, um, he has also have to spend the kind of high E-Wiz because our Bomber would have splashed the tower right there. So really nice here. And He's going to go with a pretty aggressive magic archer, not really sure why he did that because our bomb was already pretty much dead so he wasn't able to actually get any chip damage on our tower and he does go with kind of a desperation fireball on our inferno tower but I don't really think it's going to do anything for him because just log away his magic archer at this point and going to fireball his ghost as well hoping to get a little bit of chip damage. It is going to kind of finish off the ghost there and allow our goblins to get quite a few stabs now. Just going to go with the goblin drill here just to soak up the battle ram charge just in case he goes with like some... some uh, zaps and whatnot but yeah i think we should be good here and yeah really nice defense all game really good offense as well with all our pressure cards and that will be a good game and in the next game here we're going to be up against this guy i'm pretty sure this guy's a giant double prince player so this will be a kind of weird matchup here i'm not sure like what version exactly he's running because he does have arrows so might not be like the traditional minor double prince version, not really too sure what his final cards might be right here, but just going to kind of play it safe here, going with the bandit to defend his dark prince, and even though he did he did counter our goblin drill pretty well with that dark prince, it's still going to not do too much for him, because we defended pretty fine with our band, it's always nice to like soak up that dark prince charge, and yeah, fire spirit is going to do quite a bit of damage on his tower, but I'm just going to go with the goblin drill plus bomber in the other lane, because I know that he's probably going to try to go same lane as us, so I kind of want to switch up the lane we go in just to make sure that he can't start like stacking princes and all of that stuff, and I think I'm just going to take one mega minion swipe here just to make sure we save our, our um, skeletons right there for his prince, and I'm going to get a pretty good fireball on his minions as well, so I think he might not be playing the version with mine, or I kind of was thinking that he might not be playing that version after I saw the arrows, but... Yeah, looks like he won't have minor in this deck, I think, and should be a little bit better for us, because it will be a little bit harder for him to get on our towers, and he's going to have to go with the defensive giant right here, but Bomber will get quite a bit of splash damage right there, and also the goblins are kind of finishing off the giant here, so I think it should be pretty much dead if we just like go with like a bandit on it or something like that, and don't even need to waste the inferno tower right here. Alright, so now I'm just going to kind of like see what he wants to do here hopefully we can like bait out like one of his princes it looks like he will just go with the normal prince here but sometimes if we pressure correctly we can kind of force him to waste his dark prince as well on our bandits so we can like get some pretty good goblin drills after that and 
I will defend this fire spirit here as well on his prince, and I think we should be ready to go in here. Just gonna wait until we get a couple more elixir, and he's gonna go with the mega minion right there. So I'm just gonna go with the bomber plus drill here, and looks like he is gonna go with like the pretty nice minions right there, and he's gonna defend pretty fine. But one of our goblins does actually get a stab on his tower, so pretty good right here. And luckily for us, the inferno tower actually latched onto his giant instead of his minions, so. Really nice there, and also Ban is going to dash straight back to his giant, helping us out pretty nicely right there. Even though the Mega Main will take out our, our um, things, it's going to still work out pretty well here. I'm going to go with the Log here as well, just to hopefully get a little bit of Goblin's chip damage right there. And even though he's defending pretty well with his Princes, there was like pretty low HP out on the counter pushing end, just because he, he has to um, like soak in a lot of damage from our like Bombers and Goblins and all of that stuff. So he's going to go with the minions here. A pretty quick fireball is going to come down from us because I was kind of expecting him to go with minions there knowing that he didn't have Dark Prince back in cycle yet or something like that. So yeah, looking really good here. Fire Spirit will also chip away and he's going to kind of go with the pretty interesting Dark Prince there in the middle. He's going to distract our Inferno Tower, so probably pretty good for him there. Pretty well played, but uh, going to kind of try to pull his Mega Minion to the middle. Going to hit it with the Fire Spirit there so it is able to get wrecked by our fireball and... Yeah, super good defense right here. I keep thinking that we, that we might take like a ton of damage. We're just like defending so well. So yeah, I really like this spot that we're in. And I'm going to kind of log away his Dark Prince as well. Just hoping to get another little bit of Goblin's chip damage. But he is defending really well. They're going with like those Prediction Dark Princes. And I think Fire Spirit should finish off most of his minions right here. And his Dark Prince will kind of chip away at our Inferno Tower. But still looking fine right here. Just going to go with the Fireball and everything. Don't really want to want to allow his mega minions or something like that to get too much value and he's going to go with kind of a failed prediction zap right there on a on a fire spirit instead of like probably the skeletons that he was hoping to get it on so yeah really nice for us you're going to always go with these drill plus bombers because i know he always has dark prince in cycle to stop our drills so never really good to go with like drills alone always going to follow it up with like a bomber or something and then we just need like a few more logs at this point and and a fireball and that probably will be a good game here in a bit but it's going to be a little bit safe here defending his giant nicely with our inferno tower and and yeah he just kind of mess up the dark prince right there i think goblin will get one stab on his tower and just gonna fireball here to finish it off so really nice win there all right and into the next match we do have drill plus fire spirit in our starting hand so just gonna go with it first play always a really good first play and if they don't have like the perfect counters in hand it can often get quite a bit of damage um and yeah he's gonna defend pretty well there with the e-bars but he'd have to spend quite a lot in those e-barbs just because he wasted his ghost on our or not on anything but like he just cycled it in the back there so pretty nice for us just gonna log these e-barbs as well they will finish off our bomber but still pretty nice defense right you're not gonna get the perfect timing there on the fire spirit but yeah either way we're up in a little bit of damage at this point so looking pretty nice right here and and by the way guys the goblin drill placement that i went there at the start was actually the ideal placement to go with for your first goblin drill because most of the time they'll try to like prediction unit your your first goblin drill like just play their unit right in front of the tower just like predicting that your goblin drill will be in the front but it's always actually good to go with the, like right off to the side so that if they go with like a unit in the in the front of their tower it won't actually connect on the goblin drill like right away it'll kind of connect on it but it won't actually like like hit the first goblin so that's a really nice placement to do right there and also it will still latch onto the tower really quickly as well so yeah just a little pro tip right there and it's gonna kill his ghost pretty easy with the skeletons right here it's not too hard to counter ghosts ever since they got the nerf so i think we should be fine right here and looks like he's gonna go with split e-barbs here but we can just go with the pretty nice bomber here and kind of pull his e-barbs towards the middle i think his e-barb will get one shot on our tower but goblin drill is also getting quite a bit of damage so yeah really nice spot right here and we do have to be a little bit careful of his golden knights also because they can kind of dash around really really weirdly so we have to make sure we're playing our cards in the right spots and just gonna go with skeletons off to the side here in case he tried to go with like a prediction bar barrel or something like that but yeah should be fine right here up a few hundred damage at this point and just gonna go with the fire spirit to pressure looks like he is gonna go with the mother witch right here so we do kind of have to be careful of like a few of his cards especially like the mother witch and he does also have heal spirit right here which was kind of annoying there it did block our block our bandit from actually like hitting his mother which but i think we should be fine either way gonna kind of pull back the golden knight there so the bomber should hopefully be able to finish it off here and i'm just gonna go with the drill plus bomber in the opposite lane because he keeps on playing his cannon carts in the right lane here so can't really play into that and 
Arm will get a few shots on his left tower there, so now he kind of has to worry about both lanes. He can't just like stack a bunch of cannon carts. And I'm just gonna go with an inferno tower here. Can't really like go with any any squishy cards at this point because he does also kind of combo with like the ghost and the heal spirit and the golden knights pretty often. So I think we might actually be able to activate our king tower here against this golden knight. Yeah, looks like it does go straight towards our king tower. So actually, really nice defense there by us. Wasn't really expecting that to happen, but worked out pretty well for us either way. And He's going to keep on cycling these drills. They're always managing to get just a little bit of chip, chip damage on his tower each time. And looks like the cannon curve will have finished off pretty easily there by the fireball plus log. Also damaging down the E-bar was pretty heavily. And we do have to be careful of this golden knight. I was kind of hoping that the fire spirit would actually pull it back. But didn't end up working out in time. But still going to be fine for us either way. And he's going to go with an inferno tower right here on his cannon cart. Can't really counter it too easy with our other cards in cycle. So... I think that should be fine here. Mother Witch is only going to get one pig on the field from that set of skeletons, so looking pretty good once again. And yeah, just going to keep on cycling drills. This deck can be like a little bit of a rinse and repeat deck sometimes, but it does still work really well. And Golden Drill is just like such an unpredictable card. I feel like the drill can just like get absolutely no damage sometimes, but then at other times it just gets like half of their tower. So it is a really interesting card. And the Inferno Tower actually locked onto the Cannon Cart instead of the Golden Knight right there, so really nice because I, I think he used the ability then it caused our tower to retarget onto onto his cannon card right there so really good here let's go with another goblin draw i think we might actually have to like let this game just like play out until like the tiebreaker happens and we just have to make sure that we're up in damage compared to him so i think we are on track to do that just gonna fireball his cannon card as well don't we want to like allow him to build up anything and then is going to get a pretty nice dash there on his magic archer but it is still going to stay alive with like one hp so gonna have to go with a bomber on it as well but and we should be fine you're gonna go with the fireball as well predicting those e barbs and it is going to allow us to get like a little bit of goblin chip damage um and yeah we do have to kind of watch out for his mother witch here honestly the mother witch and golden knight are like the only issues here and yeah i'm just gonna go with the fireball here on his magic archer and i think our king tower is just gonna help us out so much here against his golden knight and like ghost right there just like making sure everything gets finished off really nice and yeah, that will be a good game really nice win we just picked up here against this interesting bridge spam deck and in the next match here we're going to be up against conte tesla i guess yeah we do have drill here and bomber so this is going to go with the drill bomber first play it's a pretty aggressive starting play but really no matter what they play you're always going to get like a fine elixir trade most of the time and it is really going to allow us to get quite a bit of damage um, yeah, gonna get like two bomber shots on his tower right there, so really nice, and his mega minion just like dies to our fire spirit there, so no need to like really spend anything else on it, and yeah, he might try to like act activate his king tower here against our bandit, but I think we should be fine either way, because it is still gonna allow us to get that nice bandit dash on his tower, so not really gonna be too much of a win for him either way, and yeah, just gonna set up with a drill here, cannon will probably target it and uh, take it down pretty quickly here, but goblins are still gonna get quite a bit of cheap damage right there, you can see like even when they have like splash cards like bomber your goblin drill still has a chance to get so much damage on their tower sometimes so it's really really nice to be playing this win condition because i feel like goblin drill is just so unpredictable and it's just like really nice to always get so much damage just like very randomly and yeah i think our bomber should fully counter this golden knight but i'm just going to spend skeletons as well just to make sure that it survives with like a little bit of health left and he is going to go with like a mega minion here but i think we can just go with the drill straight into it it doesn't really matter too much for me either way and, and yeah, I'm just going to go with like a really high Inferno Tower here just to like make sure his E-Giant dies before he has enough Elixir for like a Rocket or something on our Inferno Tower. But I'm not sure if he's playing Rocket or Lightning. It kind of is going to change how we want to play things. But I'm just going to assume that he has Rocket here, but I'm not really too sure. And yeah, the nice thing about playing Goblin Drill in this meta is that even though people are running Mirror E-Giant a lot, it's still pretty nice to have Goblin Drill because it kind of acts as like a second building. So even when they go with like the mirror e giant you can still deal with it pretty well usually and yeah his goblin drill or his goblin giant only or no i mean electro giant only gets one zap on our tower right there so we're looking really good right here and he is gonna have to spend that goal of night on our fire spirit so yeah really nice here and probably can just set up with a drill here in a second just because he wasted most of his counters to it don't really know what he's gonna actually try to use against maybe like an electro giant or something but looks like he did just go with the bomber there just gonna counter it pretty well that time but Still always getting just a little bit of chip damage each time. And by the way, guys, I'm sorry if my commentary isn't the best. I'm commentating this pretty late, so I'd be kind of mixing up some of my words here. And 
Now it looks like he's going to set up with the level 16 E Giant there in the back. It's going to go with the Bandit of the River just to pressure a little bit, but I think we played it like a second late there, so it is still going to lock onto his E Giant, but I'll take it either way. I don't really want to overcommit too much by going with like the Fireball and his Mega Minion, but now that he plays the Golden Knight here as well, I'm just going to Fireball everything in. And I'll also go with the Fire Spirit here just to hopefully chip away at everything. Um, and yeah, so I'm not really too worried about his E-Giants right here. Just have to be a little bit careful about his Golden Knights. That's the only thing that can be a little bit concerning at times, but... Looks like the Inferno Tower will stay alive at 1 HP right here, so... Still gonna pull his E-Giant all the way across. He does go with the NATO on it as well, but... That cost him quite a lot of Elixir here, so I don't really think he's gonna be able to, like, support his push very well at this point. And yeah, you can see, like, it's just really hard for them to break through just because we have the double building in the Goblin Drill and Inferno Tower. And, yeah, so it's kind of just, like spending his golden knights pretty freely here so i don't really think he's going to have a good counter to our goblin jewel once again he's going to go with the golden knight ability and not really going to work out too well for him goblins are going to kind of chip away as well and he is going with um with more e giants and whatnot and he's going to go with the lightning here as well so i'm just going to go with the goblin drill here just to pull out pull out his e giant even farther away and yeah goblins are going to kind of chip away at the e giant and also just the building is keeping it distracted pretty nicely here so just gonna go with the fireball in this tower, and that should be a good game. So thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!